Hi everyone, today we're going to be making glass votive candle holders. This project is designed by Diana Kovacs. This is a great wedding or shower favor, or it can be used as a table decoration as well. I'm Kristen Hunter for Hampton Art. Let's get started. The featured technique in this project is stamping on rice paper. This thin paper gives kind of a vintage look to your projects, and it can be glued to various surfaces such as glass, wood, or even metal. It's lightweight and it's translucent, so you can see the flickering candle in the final piece. For this project, we will be using the Danelle Clear Stamp Set and the Stazon Jet Black Ink Pad. I'm going to create a collage effect on the rice paper by using the clear stamps. And I'm going to do this by stamping on the edges of the paper. This way, your finished piece looks more like a part of a larger, more elegant piece. And maybe I'll do one over here on the corner. And another one up here. You can use as many different stamps as you like. Maybe I'll try this pretty bird here. And by doing that, creates a really nice effect. To add a little color, you can use a stipple brush to apply chalk or dye ink. Or you could cut up a car wash or kitchen sponge into small pieces and use that. Just use a different piece for each color. The effect actually is the same as a stipple brush, but it can save you money. I'm going to use the A La Mode dye ink pads in royal blue and pink along with my stipple brush to add some color. Add color to the reverse side of your rice paper. This way you're accenting but not covering up the stamps. You can use pink too. And that adds a really nice effect. Apply glue to a watercolor brush sparingly. Just brush it out because too much glue is gonna be bad in this situation. Apply the glue down one side of the glass votive. Touch your paper onto the glue line. I'm aligning mine right on the rim of the votive. Once you've done that, work your way around the votive with the glue. and pat the paper down as you go along. That way you can get any creases out or bubbles that you might have. To finish up, paint glue on the end, brushing off the edge of the paper. Then wrap the end around and make sure it overlaps. Fold over the rice paper to finish off the bottom. To do this, I'm going to cut several slits along the bottom, maybe about six to eight. This will create tabs so you can fold them over. Using a craft brush, you can apply glue to the bottom of your candle. And once you've done that, you can start folding over your tabs applying glue over top of the tabs as you go along so you can overlap them that way. Trim off the top 
You can add ribbon or a piece of raffia, a button or a charm, and that will finish off your piece. For Hampton Art, I'm Kristen Hunter.